Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you all my dear students? I hope you're all fit and fine in the best state of health and iman and I hope that you are enjoying your virtual classes and you are concentrating on your studies well. Right, so this is your English period and it is your workbook week going on. So you all have to take out your new Oxford Modern English Workbook 3 and then you have to turn to page number 10. All right, on page number 10, you have to write down date. It's 19th May today, Art Shawwal. Today is Wednesday and then COW. Always keep in mind that you must write all these things on before starting your work. Okay, so what is exercise B1? Talk about the picture. They have given you a picture over here, right? Name some of the things in the shops. There are two different shops, okay? One is of Naman and the other is of Zishan. Compare them. So as you know that yesterday we compared things and yesterday we were doing similes and we were comparing two entirely different things with regard to the similarities or resemblance between them okay kal humne compare kiya tha magar humne tashbihat di thi humne yaksaniyat or similarity check kari thi between two entirely different nouns but today we are going to compare with regard to their differences aaj hum fark dekhenge mawazna karenge check karenge ki dono mein ek dusre ke muqable mein kya fark hai okay so let's talk about the picture first talk about noman's shop this is noman right and uh, here on the table there is a lot of money right on noman's table and then here on the shelf there are some bottles some boxes some cans and some sacks and now let's talk about zishan's shop there is no money on the table there are some shelves and on the shelf there are some boxes some packets some bottles some sacks okay and uh, zishan has a lot of coins in the drawer right so what we have to do we have to compare that who has more and who has less okay so you have to turn to page number 11 and over here you have to write down the date again it's 19th may wednesday and cw exercise b2 is fill in the blanks now here you have to write down who has more money who has less who has fewer coins and who has more coins so you have your books open in front of you so you have to find out who has more money as you can see beta no man has more money than zishan right and zishan has less money than no man zishan has more coins than no man and no man has fewer coins than zishan this is very simple very easy and this is what you have to write over here i know you are all very smart you can do it by your own but let me help it help out too like in part a you have to write no man has more money than zishan part b zishan has less money than no man part c no man has fewer coins like thode se coins hain uske paas comparatively as jab hum compare kare hain usko no man ke coins se so zishan no man has fewer coins than zishan zishan ke paas zyada coins hain and no man ke paas kam coins hain then part d zishan has more coins than no man zishan ke paas zada coins hain no man ke muqable mein as you can see on this page over here in the drawer no man has fewer coins and zishan has more coins all right very easy very interesting you can do it by your own and here beta in exercise 3 let me tell you that we are not going to do this exercise okay so after having done this exercise on page number 11 you have to turn to page number 12 on page number 12 we are going to do playtime exercise a1 
two and three okay fierce words adjectives now what are adjectives adjectives are the words which describes noun they tells us uh, they tell us about nouns they give us more information about noun like adjectives are describing words okay ye hame batate hain ki describe karte hain ki noun kaisa hai tafseela dete hain noun ke bare mein and you know very well nouns are naming words theek hai kisi bhi cheez ke bare mein tafseel dena hame batana ki wo kaisi hai ya kaisa hai they tell what the noun is like ki noun kaisa hai koi cheez kaisi hai for suppose they have given you a picture over here of a desert it is hot dry and sandy all these three words are adjective why because they are describing the desert they are giving you the information about the desert all right now adjectives tell us about nouns adjectives hame noun ke bare mein kya kya batate hain they tell us about the size the color and the amount of the noun like tiny ants tiny huge both adjectives blue jug three bananas these are all adjectives plus adjectives tell us about the look of a noun how it looks how it tastes and how it feels like lovely flower sour lemon and soft pillow plus adjectives also tell us about the shape of a noun how does it behave and how is it feeling right like triangular pieces of watermelon and the dog is hungry and the tortoise is happy so these are all adjectives and now you know very well that what are adjectives so let's start doing this exercise here i have a sentence for you and you have to find out the adjectives i am going to read the sentence out for you the little boy was sad because he lost his new bouncy basketball so for finding out the adjectives you first have to find out the nouns noun kya hai sentence mein boy and basketball right so what are the words which are describing this boy giving you the information about boy yes little and sad these two are adjectives because they are giving you the information about this noun boy now come to next line this is a basketball it is a noun and what are the words which are describing about this basketball yes bouncy and new so these both are adjectives because they are describing or giving you the information about basketball so there are all together four adjectives in this sentence little sad new bouncy very easy and very interesting now you know very well that what are adjectives and what are nouns so let's start doing this exercise on page number 12 exercise a1 read the passage pay careful attention to the underlined words they have given you a passage over here and there is a picture you can color it and you have to be very careful and pay attention to the underlined words let's start reading beta the boy is sitting on an old box as you know that old is starting with a vowel sound o so they have used article n okay so they have underlined old and as you can see there is a small a written with old right so a means you have to write the answer over here what is an old old is a verb or an adjective or a noun as the old is describing this box hame box ke bare mein bata rahe hain na ki box kaisa tha old tha purana tha this means that this word old is an adjective so we will write a adjective okay he is reading a book jo boy tha wo book read kar raha tha so they have underlined reading and as you can see it is written small b so reading it is an action wo pad raha tha so action words are known as verb so reading is a verb 
देर इज अ फ्यूर्स टाइगर बिहाइंड द ट्री एक बहुत ही खतरनाक टाइगर है दरख्त के पीछे एज यू कैन सी हेयर इन दिस पिक्चर सो फियर्स इज ऑल्सो अंडरलाइन एंड देर इज द स्मॉल सी विथ फियर्स सो फियर्स इज गिविंग यू द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस टाइगर कि वो कैसा टाइगर था बहुत ही खतरनाक सो इट इज़ डिस्क्राइबिंग टाइगर सो डिस्क्राइबिंग वर्ड्स आर एडजेक्टिव बिहाइंड द ट्री ट्री इज द नेम ऑफ अ थिंग इट इज़ अ नाउन द बॉय इज लुकिंग लुकिंग इज अगेन एन एक्शन सो इट इज़ अ वर्ब एट द पिक्चर्स पिक्चर्स इज अगेन अ नेम ऑफ अ थिंग सो इट इज़ अ नाउन इन द बुक सो जो बॉय है वो क्या कर रहा है वो पिक्चर्स देख रहा है बुक में ही कैन नॉट सी द टाइगर वो टाइगर को नहीं देख सकता सो दे हैव अंडरलाइन सी एंड देर इज़ अ स्मॉल जी ओवर हेयर सी इज अगेन एन एक्शन एंड एक्शन वर्ड्स आर वर्ब राइट द टाइगर्स लॉन्ग टेल इज अप इन द एयर जो टाइगर है उसकी लंबी सी दोम ऊपर हवा में उठी हुई है ठीक है सो लॉन्ग इज डिस्क्राइबिंग द टेल टेल इज अ नाउन एंड इट इज लॉन्ग इज मॉडिफाइंग दिस नाउन सो लॉन्ग का क्या हो गया एडजेक्टिव एंड इट इज एन स्मॉल एच ओवर हेयर सो वी विल राइट एडजेक्टिव इन पार्ट एच नाउ लेट सी वॉट आर वी गोइंग टू डू Exercise A2. Write noun, verb, or adjective for each word marked in the passage. Like part in A, it old is an adjective, so you have to write down adjective in part A. In part B, reading. Reading is a noun, so you will write noun over here. Then part C is underlined as adjective, so fears is an adjective, so you will write. adjective in part c how you have to do let me give you an example c part d it is tree tree is a noun so you have to write noun in part d part e is looking looking is again an action it is a verb then part f pictures it is a noun part g c c is again an action so it is a verb you have to write down verb in part g and then the last one long long is describing the tail so it is an adjective you have to write down adjective in part h very easy and very interesting now exercise a3 is write a sentence for each picture on page 13 use an adjective a noun and a verb as shown in the example on page number 13 they have given you three pictures a b c and you have to make three sentences for all these three pictures and in these sentences there must be a noun an adjective and a verb theek hai ye teeno cheeze honi chahiye adjective describing words noun naming words and verb action words for example in picture number a picture a they have shown you a girl a broken vase and a chest of drawers right so they have made a sentence example the big vase fell on the floor big is describing the vase so it is an adjective vase is a noun and fell is a verb it is the past tense of fall so ye teeno cheeze ek hi sentence mein aa gayi isi tarah similarly you have to make sentences of your own choice okay like you can also say the beautiful vase fell on the floor okay now on part b there is a thief okay and there is a dog so you have to describe the dog first right you can say the fierce dog or you can also say the faithful dog caught pakad liya caught is the past tense of catch the faithful dog or the fierce dog caught the thief or the boy it's your choice whatever you want to write in part c there is a lady and she is sitting on an armchair it's totally your choice that how you have to describe the old lady like an old lady or you can also say that 
अ टायर्ड लेडी ठीक है द ओल्ड लेडी और द टायर्ड लेडी सेट ऑन द आर्म चेयर और यू कैन ऑल्सो से स्लेप्ट ऑन द आर्म चेयर ये सो भी गई हैं ऐसा लगता है इट सीम्स लाइक शी इज स्लीपिंग शी इज़ टेकिंग रेस्ट सो आई हैव रिटर्न दीज थ्री सेंटेंसेज ओवर हेयर बट इट इज़ योर चॉइस वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू राइट इन दीज ब्लैंक्स द बिग वर्स फेल ऑन द फ्लोर द फ्यर्स डॉग कॉट द थीव द ओल्ड लेडी स्लेप्ट ऑन द आर्म चेयर ओके नाउ स्टार्ट डूइंग योर वर्क बेटर आई होप आई एम क्लियर टिल हेयर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ईच एंड एवरी थिंग दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे टेक वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ सुबह नबी हमदी का अरशद फिर वाहिक अल्लाम वरम्ह वर्कू